Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be heading to the Pluto system which is somewhere we've never really visited um, in videos before so yeah it's the first time for the sort of um, Pluto area here so yeah here we go I've got all its moons um, set up already and our goal today it's sort of a continuation from previous videos I've done so if you've um, not seen um, them before definitely go ahead and check those out but yeah it's basically um, where I make a planet's moons larger and we sort of see what sort of chaos unfolds so last episode we did Neptune where we made all of its moons 5,000 kilometers in radius. And that was a pretty uh, pretty crazy show, um, that one. But yeah, today we're going to be heading to Pluto. And obviously, we can't make its moons 5,000 kilometers in radius because even Pluto isn't 5,000 kilometers. So we'll do something a little more reasonable. And that's going to be 600. So about the size of um, its first moon here. So all we need to do is there's only, um, what's it, there's um, five moons. Yeah, there's five moons around Pluto now. So we've got... Um, so we got Stinks here. That's what I want to say. We've got Nyx, Hydra, and then Kerberos here. So all of these guys... We're buffing them up to 600. So this is going to be a crazy tussle between the uh, moons now. Because if they're all going to be the same size, I mean, Pluto could get involved or even destroyed um, in this. And that's 6,000. We don't want to be doing that now. See, that would be way too big. But if we put it to, um, back to 600, there we go. So all of its moons are now 600 kilometers in radius. Obviously, Charon was already um, like that anyway. So, yeah, they're all added now. And, we're, yeah, we're just going to get straight into this. So I'm going to give this a save. So there we go. So in case anything goes wrong, we can load it back. But yeah, without further ado, let's do this, guys. So yeah, right. Let's um, let's be, yeah, let's slow down time actually. We'll, um, will you also use the studio mode? Right there we go. So now we can actually watch what's going on here. We're using the custom Pluto here as well, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, well, um, let's go ahead and do this. So obviously, normally Pluto and Charon are just chilling in their sort of binary orbit together. But with um, all these other moons at 600 kilometers as well. That's gonna. Uh, that's definitely gonna mess some um, things up. But actually, one thing I want to do quickly: what if we land on the surface of Pluto? How many moons will we just see hovering in the sky? Because obviously it'd just be Carol normally. But if we just have a little look around, so we sh we should see some. If we look up, there's one there. So there's one. Hy that's Hydra. Um, let's see where are the other ones. Let's put the labels on. So where are we? So we have. Um, okay, there are the other planets. We've got the rest of the solar system pretty much in front of us. Uh, where are we? We're really seeing too many actually. Must be at a bad angle. Uh, so if we just look here, for example. So we were looking at Hydra. So we need to sort of get to the south area here. So if we go down here. Right, so then if we look up. Okay, so we've got Charon there, which is already the largest and closest. But then we have this one. So that's the second one. And then there is Hydra there. So there's three moons in view at once. All on this tiny little rock at the edge of the solar system, pretty much. So, right, there we go. We're going to do that. Um, right, then we're just going to click play and speed it up to watch this action unfold. Because, yeah, this this probably is going to go pretty chaotic very, very fast. So, yeah, these moons are probably going to have a massive collisions. I mean, you can already see maybe the outer outer one may survive. But I definitely think Charon here is definitely going to get involved in some confrontation here. I mean, you can already see that it looks like Stinks and Hydra here. Looks like those two are already going to go at it here. So we'll slow it down, get a good look at it. But yeah, these two are about to smash into each other. There we go. That was a very fast collision, but Hydra seemed to be the victor there. So yeah, there we go there. Right, now we have um, Kerberos here heading inwards. So there we go. I wonder if Hydra will survive or not, because it could get pulled in again as well. But looks like, um, yeah, it looks like Charon may be having some sort of collision with that at some point, unless Hydra comes back into the mix as well, which it looks like it is doing. I mean, it's getting, it's pulled Charon away from Pluto there now so that is um pretty crazy i mean yeah these two maybe hydra's gonna go straight into another collision i mean if they do it too close to pluto pluto could get um involved in this as well and pluto's not that much bigger so if two of these combined um or a couple of the moons combined it could overpower pluto completely but um yeah there we go so let's keep going Charon is now dangerously close to pluto in its orbit it looks like all these moons are just pulling each other around really there's not really any dominant force out of all these guys since they're so insignificant in all their mass anyway. But it looks like it's getting a bit unstable. So, obviously, these moons are pretty uh, large now. And they're getting further and further away from Pluto. I mean, they could just escape into space. It looks like Hydra um, is trying to escape and become its own dwarf planet um, at this point. I mean, it's getting very far away there. So, yeah, we'll keep it going, though. So, there we go. Charon is now on a very crazy orbit. Very, very close to Pluto there. The other two moons, Nyx and Kerberos here, they seem to be having some pretty crazy stuff. But it looks like Hydra has completely escaped. It's completely got out of it. So there we go. We'll keep um, it rolling now. So it looks like when Nyx comes in for a little close encounter, it could, it may actually collide with Pluto because its orbit's been derailed so much. Unless Charon saves it, which it looks like it's going to do. Oh, well, that that is um, very, very risky having it here. But I mean, look how close that's getting to Pluto there. That is way, way closer than Charon ever was. So yeah, that, that, 
That's really dangerous right there. That is very, very close. I mean, Caron, it could change its orbit again there. Pluto's now in a binary with one of them as well. I mean, this is just absolutely crazy. Um, we'll put it back on um, Studio as well, just so we can see everything a little easier. Lock back onto Pluto itself. And let's keep this rolling. So there we go. Yeah, but yeah, that, all of the orbits, looks like Nyx may be escaping now. Seems like Caron's just close enough to stay where it is. But the other ones are very, very um, crazy here. And we already had one collision, but it doesn't seem like too much may go on office. Yeah, that's escaped. Look, Nyx is gone. It's trying to, like, pull in with Hydra again, which is already out of the area. It looks like we still have Kerberos down at the bottom there. But, yeah, not really much is um happening here. Maybe we'll have to um, increase the size. Actually, no, never mind, because actually that would just make it a bit silly, because I reckon we'd still probably get similar results. I reckon... um. The moons would just still sort of do what they're doing here where they'll sort of bounce off of each other um, and then just get tossed out. It looks like Nick's maybe coming back actually. So no, never mind. Scratch that. And, and I just paused it at the perfect moment by the looks of it because it looks like we're about to get a um, 1v1 with um, Caron and Nyx here. So very, very good. I paused that. So yeah, I completely scratch what I just said about um, making them larger. But yeah, just scratch that. But um, yeah, let's continue. So play. Now that... that. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to crash into each other there, so let's just increase it a little more. But yeah, there we go. So we've got Charon, and then Nyx, which is smashing into it at a much higher speed, I believe. So um, yeah, there we go, because it was coming in from a lot further away, so probably did have higher velocity there. But yeah, there we go. So now we've got the collision there. It looks like Nyx is going to lose this battle, though, as it's already, um, sort of, its surface has already despawned. So that means it's got a lack of mass going on. But, so yeah, there we go. Excuse me a bit, need a drink. So yeah, there we go. Right, so um, there is Nyx. All right, so that's crashing, and Charon has overpowered it, and it's got an like, enormous crater on it now, as we can see that. But how is that gonna, um, or how is that gonna affect Pluto in any way? Is any of that debris gonna smash into it? Let's um, watch out and find out. So yeah, there we go. It looks like Charon has been pushed. It's actually been pushed away a bit by that collision as well. But yeah, there we go. So Charon has actually managed to survive um, the confrontation so far. So yeah, there's that. Um, we still have Kerberos just chilling out here. Doesn't like too much is going on there. Hydra is completely escaped by the looks of it. I mean, the orbits are just going absolutely crazy here. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. So yeah, there we go. Right, so Charon is just back and forth, back and forth. Kerberos looks to be getting closer. So maybe um, we'll get a final one-on-one -on -one with Kerberos and something there. It's definitely getting closer, so we just have to wait for it to return. So in the meantime, we'll just um, keep watching here. Yeah, but Hydra is definitely gone. That's escaped. It's been pushed out of there by all the gravity in the other moons. But yeah, there we go. So we've got Kerberos here. Very, very close, but it doesn't seem like it's enough to um, actually be pulled back by um, Charon there. So it's sort of launched up, and then it's just sort of flown past, and its orbit is now changing. It's trying, it's trying to escape. It looks like it is, actually. So, yeah, I mean, that will speed it up a lot faster. So as we can see there, it looks like Kerberos is just hanging on there. So, yeah, there we go. But the orbits are very, very crazy right now. So we'll just have to wait for it to return. But the thing is, will it do anything? Because um, to me, it may just keep staying in the orbit it's currently in. It looks like it's just going to fly past and then just keep repeating its cycle there. So maybe we sort of have more of a stable sort of um, area set up now. I mean, I the orbits are wobbling around constantly, but that's probably because Charon is having a massive effect there. But I'm pretty sure if you just remove Charon, it, the orbits would just be in a binary with Pluto or something there. So yeah, there we are. But actually, speaking of Charon, let's check out the massive crater it has picked up there. I mean, look at that burn mark from that massive collision. I mean, that's a pretty uh, pretty darn big crater um, on it right there. But yeah, there we go. So let's continue. But yeah, by the looks of it, that is pretty much the end of it. I mean, I don't see anything else changing. I mean, it looks like Kerberos just keeps coming back and forth, keeps going around it. So yeah, there we go. Hydra is long gone at this point. That's just chilling out here. Actually survived a collision and got out alive. So yeah, there we go. But yeah, that I'd say is our first scenario. We will open it again to see if we get any different results. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming we'll probably get quite similar stuff. The moons just pull each other in and they just eject each other because there's not really enough mass to bring them back since yeah, this area doesn't really have too much mass going on. I mean, Pluto itself, I mean, if we look at its stats, I mean, 0 0.1 moons. It's not really a very powerful thing to hold these moons in. I mean, especially when these moons are already pretty large in size as well. I mean, yeah, these moons um, are pretty heavy for Pluto to handle. And it can it's already in a binary with Charon, which therefore shows it it's not actually strong enough to sort of really hold Charon by itself. It, they're sort of orbiting each other. So obviously with three, oh no, four more of the moons further out, like, it just Pluto just can't handle it. So they're going to escape quite easy as we did see there. But yeah, let's continue again. So um, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's speed it up and let's see if we get similar or different results. So um, I'm, assu I'm assuming maybe see Hydra and Stinks have a little um, collision again and maybe we'll just get the same results. But it's probably because they're both spawning in the same area. But it looks like we're going to get similar stuff here. 
Hydra comes back in. Looks like it may escape again. Those two had um, quite a close encounter. But this time, Hydra's actually stayed um, in the system this time. Because previously, it just got out straight away. So we'll have to see what um, sort of deeds Hydra gets up to. It looks like it's just, yeah, it's just um, destroyed Nyx as well. So that thing's, Hydra's taken out two moons now. So yeah, Hydra seems to be the dominant force um, for colliding and surviving just by luck. But yeah, there we go. That collision has pushed it beyond the limit by the looks of it. And it looks like Hydra may be making a clean getaway now. So it seems like the collisions definitely make a difference on if it's going to escape or not. So we'll see the collision force, that's going to sort of push it out of the gravity area here. So yeah, it looks like Hydra maybe making a clean escape. Oh no, no, it's coming back. Okay, never mind. So yeah, there we go. And it's, yeah, that, it looks like it's just absolutely slingshotted off Pluto there. So yeah, there we go. That, yep, that slingshotted away. You, you saw the effect there of it fly around really fast. It goes around Pluto and it just slings off. So it's, that's like the slingshot effect that spacecraft and stuff use. That's what Hydra has just done there. So, yeah, pretty um, cool stuff indeed. But again, we've got similar results. We have Kerberos, which is just somehow surviving. And then we still have Charon, which is close to Pluto, but its orbit's obviously changed. Um, obviously, it's more inclined now. So, yeah, Charon, we have the same result as last time. It's more inclined. It's quite close. And then out here, the same result again with Kerberos just having this weird sort of binary going on. And then Hydra got rid of the other two moons this time and has escaped so similar results to last time so i think that will conclude today's video guys so that is um one possibility of what could happen if you made pluto's moons 600 kilometers in radius so to put it in words they draw each other together they smash a bit some of them escape due to the collision force and the slingshot as we just saw and then Charon seems to survive most of the time along with um, this one out here as well so yeah quite um quite a weird um scenario of events but yeah there you go we saw it two times on two different tests so yeah there we go guys that is it for today's video so let me know what you thought down below um in the comments on this i'm interested to hear your thoughts on this one and let me know if i should do this with any other moves maybe we could do it with uh, mars again um or something like that because i did do one um, I did do a video called uh, Mars, it, could Mars hold larger moons? But I mean, we could have a little play around with it um, and do a different scenario with that. I mean, we, anything, we could do anything. We, we could do anything we want um, in this game. But uh, yeah, I could definitely um, do a Mars or maybe we could do an Earth one. I mean, it only has one moon after all, but I doubt much would happen. But if you guys want it, I can do it. Let me know your suggestions down below as well, because I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that as well. Also, let's see if we can go for 30 likes today on this video, guys. And also subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to um, 11,000 subscribers. I believe we are very, very close to that. So a massive thank you in advance if we have it by the time this video is out. But yeah, we are so, so, so close to completely smashed our like our, our subscriber goal before the end of the year so i can't thank you all enough for that as well and yeah that is everything guys so make sure you all have a great day um, join my discord server below link in the description you can chat with me and send me systems and ideas and stuff as well and yeah that is everything so yeah like i said make sure you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye